Tony D and Little Joan, and this is your Piney Podcast, All Things South Jersey. I'm not going to do my regular headline thing tonight. Uh, it's way late, and I'm way behind um, on videos. I might do one tomorrow. Um, but I did want to tell you some Piney stuff. Uh, first, of course, I went to Lines of the Pines today. Uh, saw a lot of great Piney stuff. There's so many books. and uh, There was a guy, he was making jewelry out of the glass from Crowley Town uh, used to have a glass works and that's in the Pine Barrens it's uh, near Crowley's Landing where the remains of and uh, uh, it's down the river from uh, Jersey Devil Marina and the reason I mentioned that is because this movie is called Ghost of the Pines I was at a different event which event was I at a few days ago I think I think yeah at the Stratford library i met a guy who turned me on to this video this is from 1974 it's a short documentary called ghost of the pines and it talks about some uh ghost towns in south jersey it's on the rutgers university uh website uh is where i found it so it talks about joe and the refugees if you haven't heard about jim i did a video on it joe mulliner and the refugees were highway bandits during the revolutionary war and joe was the gentleman robber his men would hold everybody hostage during a dance in a village in South Jersey. And then Joe would dance with the ladies and then they'd rob everybody and leave. He does part of the stand-up for the, the documentary. It's just sort of a random documentary about a bunch of things. But he's standing in Ong's hat, like a tree with Ong's hat carved into it. Um, he, they also talk about uh, Herman City. There's a little bit on that. And uh, before it burned down, it burns down about 10 years later in the 80s, the last big building there. Uh, I think it was the Herman City Inn or something like that. And um, But the big revelation for me was the story about Crowley Town and that John Mason, the inventor of the mason jar, um, invented it in South Jersey, basically. And there was a glassworks... Um, in Crowley Town, and then another one nearby, I think in like a place like Harrisville or something like that, and both glassworks burned down, and they never rebuilt them. Uh, and I don't think they rebuilt the towns either, because the towns were basically around the glassworks. And um, the interesting thing about John Mason, you know, he revolutionized food storage at that time, because this was the 1800s when he invented it. And what he invented and patented was a screw top lid. Now he patented the screw top lid, but he failed to patent the rubber stopper that you put on one of those lids to make it airtight. And because he didn't do that, um, he kind of lost his invention because other people did either patent it or just use the rubber stop and it, they didn't have to, they could do whatever they want, right? That wasn't part of the patent. What's up, Joan? Let me know. Okay. Um, and they said in at least one of the entries I read that John Mason died penniless because of that. But they're not quite sure. They seemed a little vague on that. But I just found that amazingly fascinating. I had no idea Mason jars were invented in South Jersey. Um, but this little documentary uh, goes through some of these facts. And it reminds me a lot of the documentary... Mother Leads 13th Child, if you've ever seen that, which is a reenactment of the birth of the Jersey Devil. I mean, it's shot in that era, so it very much has that look, and they're walking around the pines. So, oh, I'm going to put you down, Joe. Sorry. Um, so check it out on the Rutgers site. I'll put the link in the description below. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, I'm going to call it an early evening. Sorry. I, lines of the Pine went kind of long because I went to the dinner afterwards, which was very nice. Uh, so thanks to all who came out to Lines in the Pines this year. Hope to see you next year. Thanks to all the great people I met, and uh, they gave me some tips on some other shows and events that I might be doing in the future, uh, and various historical society people I met. So it was a great time. Uh, and thanks you for tuning in, and we'll see you 